हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी पीडेक्टिक्स पॉइंटर द पीडेक्टिक्स रिविजन सीरीज एंड टुडे आई हैव टेक आई हैव चोजन द टॉपिक इन सी एन एस सीजर्स इन द चिल्ड्रन और सीजर्स इन द चिल्ड्रन फर्स्ट यू टॉक इज रिगार्डिंग द फेब्राइल सीजर्स एंड द फेब्राइल सीजर्स दे आर सीन बिटवीन सिक्स टू सिक्सटी मंथस ऑफ एज रिमेंबर द एज ग्रुप इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट सिक्स टू सिक्सटी मंथस ऑफ एज एंड इट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ सीजर which is seen in children and more specifically it is not associated with cns infection this is associated with rate of change of temperature what we mean to say if the temperature suddenly increases or temperature suddenly decreases both can cause the febrile seizure broadly speaking there are two types of febrile seizure one is a simple febrile seizure one is a complex febrile seizure they are differentiated by certain points in the simple febrile seizure the total duration is less than 15 minute and in the complex the total duration is more than 15 minute in a simple febrile seizure there is no recurrence within 24 hours if a child gets seizure he will not have the seizure within the next 24 hours but recurrence within 24 hours is present in the complex febrile seizure simple febrile seizure is usually generalized whenever it will take place it will involve all four limbs this will be usually generalized and this is usually focal involving only one limb what that is focal is complex febrile seizure there is no neurological deficit present in the simple febrile seizure but in the complex febrile seizure neurological deficit for example tors paresis can be present do we really require any investigation when we say particularly the word should be no radiological or investigation required or eg required right you might require csf examination to rule out cns infection but there is no rule of eg or mri here eg and mri is required do we give any prophylaxis in the febrile seizure in simple febrile seizure no prophylaxis and in the complex febrile seizure intermittent prophylaxis you are giving anti epileptic drugs from day 1 of fever up to day 3 because maximum chances of febrile seizure are in first 3 days of fever so this was regarding the revision of the febrile seizure then we talk is breath holding spell and the differentiation from the absence seizure in the breath holding spell and the absence seizure if you consider the similar points in both of them there is no post ictal confusion there is no post ictal confusion in both of them and in both of them there is brief lapse of consciousness these are the two similar points between both of them now how we are differentiating them first is by the age group in the breath holding spell the age group is 6 to 18 months and this is usually seen between 5 to 8 years of age remember febrile seizure up to 5 years after 5 years you can get is the absence seizure here a stimulus is always required which can be particularly a cry or a pain but here no stimulus is required the frequency of the breath holding spell is 1 to 6 episodes per week but the frequency is how much this is 100 to 150 episodes per day this much high is the frequency here we say eg is normal he we say eg in typical absence seizure is three hertz spike and wave pattern which is bilateral and synchronous what do you are supposed to do in breath holding spell only the reassurance to the parents but in a typical absence seizure what is the drug of choice the drug of choice is the ethoxyzine so these are the points by which you can differentiate between the breath holding spell and the absence seizure is lastly we talk of certain epileptic syndromes one is the infantile spasm which is also called as the west syndrome west syndrome right another is the rolandic epilepsy which is also called benign childhood epilepsy with centrotemporal spikes and third is the jme juvenile myoclonic epilepsy this is onset in infancy this is in the childhood this is in the juvenile age so this is regarding the onset on the eeg if you get here you get is the hips arrhythmic pattern here in the eeg centrotemporal spikes that's why this is also named as benign childhood epilepsy with 
सेंट्रोटेम्पोरल स्पाइक्स हियर इन द ई जी फोर टू फाइव हर्स स्पाइक कैन वेव पैटर्न जस्ट अब वी हैव टोल्ड इन टिपिकल एबसेंस थ्री हर्स स्पाइक कैन वेव एंड दिस इज फोर टू फाइव हर्स स्पाइक कैन वेव वट इज द ड्रग वी आर गिविंग हियर इन द इन्फेंटाइल स्पैजम दैट इज ए सी टी एच एड्रीनो कॉर्टिकोट्रॉपिक हारमोन इन द रोलैंडिक एपिलेप्सी कार्बामजपीन एंड इन जे एम ई लेविसिटाइम so this was in short the revision of these seizures in children if you are liking this revision series do like this and also subscribe to this channel thanks for watching